Hey guys, so I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a reading on Matt Lauer. So, Matt Lauer, La Matt Lauer, <laughs> Matt Lauer today was fired because he was accused of sexual, um, sexual misconduct, I believe. And um, I just want to see what's around him. Um, did he actually do it or not? And what's going to happen afterwards? So I have the text with me. And if you want your own personal reading, the information's in my description box. You can just contact me, okay, um, through my email, and I will respond to you right away. December is still open, so if you want your reading for December, okay, and um, to see what's going on, <laughs> um, you could just, just like I said, contact me, and we go from there. So, like I said, I have the cards with me. Okay, and this one is over there. So we're just gonna clear the deck, pray on it. It's kind of like a yes and a no at the same time. Okay, so I'm getting a yes and a no of what he has done because okay they're trying to operate he is a person that is like trying to kind of like okay él es una persona que que Siempre tiene que tocar la gente. So he is the type of person that is always like touchy feeling. Ana trabaja en una razón buena persona. Él siempre quiere que se vaya adelante. So he is that type of person that always wants to get ahead, but he always does things kind of wrong and does things kind of aggressive and it has to be his way. Yo veo que tocó la muchacha. Él tocó la muchacha, pero él no hizo nada con ella. So, I'm hearing that he did touch the girl, but he didn't do nothing with her. Right, abuela? That's, my grandma is the one that's giving me the messages. My grandma was a psychic, by the way. I should do a video on her, right? I have a picture of her. Let, let me pick it up so you guys can see. So her picture's right there. <laughs> you see? Okay. So I get messages from her. So he's no longer going to work for NBC. He's going to work for a different company. But if he works for NBC again, I do see that they're going to have to call for double the change. You know what I mean? Double that amount of money that he was already gaining. So if let's say, for example, if he was gaining, it's not this amount, but if he was gaining like $10,000, per day they're gonna have to cough up 20 or 40,000 que no quiero lo mejor para nadie pero alright <laughs> my grandma's getting a little bit upset so she's saying that he is the type of person that's very envious and <laughs> You know, he supposedly he pretends that kind of like he wants good things for people when that's not really him. 
I do see like when it comes to co-workers when it comes to the fewer co female co-workers he's a little bit sassy but you know he he tolerates them he deals with them he just kind of feels like he's better than everybody else so let's see what the cards are saying because my grandma like I said she was just giving us information of what's going on okay so children so he has children right mm -hmm. So she's telling me that he has children and his wife is really affected by this i do see money like i said look just like what my grandma said he only cares about money okay he only cares about money um i do see that the girl is not lying okay she's not lying about this incident but it's not too extreme of what she's going to say okay it's kind of like she's going to put it to a level five when it's actually level two of what he has done okay i do just see that he's kind of like he kind of like grabbed her by like the hips and um kind of like got near like her sh like her shoulder kind of like talked to her but it was not like um like oh i have done like like i touched your ass and and i touched your boobs and stuff like that i do see that she has some involvement as well which is why the case is not gonna like go through in court because i do see she is attracted to him and she's attracted to men with money um and but the thing is that since he didn't want to deal with her no more he kind of like he thought like shit was gonna slide and that she's like okay fine whatever we're not gonna deal with each other no more but i do say that she's like fuck this like i'm gonna do this you know what i mean sometimes in the workforce you gotta be very careful um i do see there's been some incidents that you know the wife has called her husband kind of been like very flirty with women the thing about the wife she's very boring so wife if you're gonna watch this spice it up because you're whacking bad like i don't want to be extreme but mama like you just lay there like you gotta do something you know what i mean like you got two kids cool but that doesn't mean that like you're fun and bad when you're with a partner and you want to be with a partner with your partner for a long time honestly like just like how you know you want your man to do tricks and flips and do this and do that you gotta put some effort in too you know put on some sexy lingerie okay get handcuffs do this do that you know what i mean spice things up because he's going to be looking for things outside the relationship so i'll keep on hearing the divorce word but i do see later on down the line it just might be sooner they are going to separate the angels are not giving me nor my abuela she's not giving me a timeline because she kind of like she always takes him back they're always dealing with the shit all the time okay but this just came out all right abuela and my angels are saying that they, there's gonna be more people that's gonna come out no love so like i said he was trying to like look for something else because you know the relationship is boring the relationship is boring but um He's a little bit hurt. He thought that this would never happen to him. You're going to be hearing a lot of crazy stuff. See? Look. Look. You see? The sex the sex car. Passion. Passion of sex. Okay? So, I do see that they want to go further. This is, like I said, this is like the time of like sexual assault and sexual misconduct and all that stuff. Okay? Destiny. So, this was kind of like his calling to do kind of like... um anchoring work and i do see was he in the force for like 20 something years now almost 30 years um i'm hearing the number 30 but i'm hearing 20 something so it could be 20 to 30 years i'm hearing him in the workforce um i do see there's certain people that shock because they're like at what time did he do this you know what i mean like where in the hell at what moment did you did you do this like you always with us like what like it's kind of like people are like that like what the hell when when because i was always near him how you know what i mean this is how people are so this woman is a either a blonde to brunette female okay i'm kind of seeing kind of like dark hair but i'm also seeing kind of like when she moves her hair in like the sun it's kind of like some shades of like light it could be light brown or blonde okay but she's a very young girl okay let's see i don't see her in her early 20s but she might be very younger phase or in her early 30s okay dating so they was talking they was talking okay they was talking like yo like you cannot do that you cannot do that just because someone don't want you no more they're gonna go to your lawyers and be like you know what fuck this i'm gonna ruin his career like that's whack because that comes back to you 
that comes back to you because once they see that okay because a, a lot of the stuff is not going to go to court not all the things you're going to say is going to go through so when you say that that kind of ruins your reputation also because it's like wow like if you want to go to tbs or abc they're going to see your your name and the resume they're like oh but she didn't she have this scandal with matt lauer we don't want to work with anybody like that so you have to be careful okay these two cards want to come out so young male so matt laura is young he's young in face like how old is matt laura he's he's definitely not 50 years old he's probably like in his late 30s to early 40s okay i'm pushing if he's 50 years old so um yeah like he's a young guy and it's past love so this is for his wife and you see how the pieces are kind of like broken like he's kind of He's kind of over his wife, you know, they kind of, this lack of communication, okay? I do see that she's a little bit boring. This this car wants to come out. Ice King, so when it comes to this relationship, he is cold, but like his persona, when it comes to the workforce, he's very serious. And sometimes he could be a little bit intimidating, okay? I do remember when I saw him in um, Rockefeller Plaza. This was several years ago. I think I was going to see Jimmy Fallon on the late. Yeah, on the, the late night with Jimmy Fallon before he became the Tonight Show. And I remember I saw him and I smiled and he just ignored. Like, he just kept on walking. And I was just like, what a loser, you know. But um, I just know maybe, he, I, I thought maybe he's tired or, you know, he's maybe trying to get to lunch you know i was thinking so many things and um i was like okay whatever like i understand like this job is not easy so like you don't want to see people's faces okay mature woman so this woman is very mature like i said look it's it's this blonde female but she just might have some dark brown here but some kind of like highlights or like when she moves her head in and around the sun you just see like the light shades of hair you know um let's throw down a little bit more cards and then friendship so his friends are gonna back him up okay and people in the workforce people that know him is gonna back him up throughout this whole situation they like oh my god he didn't do it please forgive him spiritual growth i do see matt laurie he is the type of person that doesn't really believe in god or what kind of like he's very skeptical when it comes to heaven and god and stuff like that but he knows that something is out there but during this time he's gonna be praying like crazy because i'm hearing him right now i'm hearing his prayers right now and it's wow okay so you're gonna throw that see love triangle what what am i talking about then i just say this then i just say this, that he is <laughs> he did touch the girl because they had they was dating they was talking to each other so let's just use this deck and let's see what's happening here listen to your intuition um <laughs> yes he did it he did it he did it he did touch her he did touch her but it was not like oh let me put my fingers in your butt you know what I mean? <laughs> crazy <laughs> Okay, guys, so that's the answer. He did do it. So I'm going to speak to you later. Much of